Hi, I'm Matis Wackernagel. I'm president of Global Footprint Network. We are an international think tank based in open Brussels and Zurich with about 100 park organizations around the world that have as an aim to bring ecological limits to the center of decision making. Today is a special day. It's called Earth Overshoot Day. What does it mean? It means that all the resources we consumed as humanity and all the waste we emitted since January 1st up to today, September 25th, is as much as what Earth can regenerate in the year 2009. So we've used already up all the budget and for the rest of the year we'll be running on deficit. Now, what can we do with this information? In some ways, it's like having information about your bank account. If you spend more than what you earn, and you do that over a longer period of time, eventually you'll go bankrupt. Nothing different with resources. If we continue on this trend, eventually we'll be bankrupt ecologically, which is even more difficult than financially because money you can print, resources you cannot. So. What does it mean for action? First step is to take ecological trends as seriously as our financial asset and reconsider how we spend resources and, and then how, how we manage them. So to make that the center of our attention. Now, most of our thinking or most of our policies still focus on how can we increase our economic activities at whatever cost to the resources it takes. And so we bank on using more and more resources every year. We have to find ways how to secure our well-being with using the resources that the Earthers can provide. Now, how can we do that? We have to pay much more attention to the way we build our cities. Just as one example, Siena in Italy, which has quite a high quality of life, uses about three times less resources per person than Houston in Texas. So that's already a big step. And personally, I would prefer to live in Siena rather than in Houston. So the way our cities are built very much determines to what extent we use resources. And still, if everybody lived like in Siena, it would take about two or three planets in order to support everybody in the world at this lifestyle. What else can we do? Obviously, we have to support our governments or push our governments to be much more proactive about climate change issues. CO2 emissions make up about half of the overall footprint of humanity. And for countries like Italy uh, and many other industrialized countries, it's up to 70% of their overall ecological footprint is carbon. If we can reduce our carbon emissions dramatically and scientists say that by 2050, we should go down about 80% in our CO2 emissions worldwide, then we also attack the issue of overshoot. The problem is though, we should do it in a way that we don't just push the problem into other areas. So for example, biofuels will possibly reduce a little bit CO2, but then may have huge impact on other land areas, particularly pristine forests and tropical areas, if we use palm oil uh, or soya. So we need to find solutions that don't just push the problem somewhere else. There are great opportunities for our global leaders to make strong commitments. One is this week in New York, uh, Climate Week, General Assembly, when many of the world leaders came together and the diplomats to prepare the Copenhagen meeting in December which we have great hopes for, that people will make strong commitments. And uh, just this, these days as well in Pittsburgh, where the G20 is coming together, also to consider how to move forward the Copenhagen agenda so that by December there can be a strong commitment. It may well be that many of us will be disappointed by the commitments in Copenhagen, that they're not strong enough. And if that's the case, then the call for action is even stronger. Because in a world without a strong Copenhagen agreement, the situation will become more wild and erratic worldwide. That means countries need to prepare themselves even more quickly 
for a resource constrained world. We are living in the illusion that we should wait for others to act before we act. However, in a world of ecological overshoot, if we are not prepared, we as cities, we as countries are not prepared to live a resource efficient life, it will be us that will be suffering from a resource constrained world. So we need to act locally fast, whether Copenhagen comes out with strong agreements or weak agreements. Another thing that we need to do, obviously, is to keep careful accounts. If I have a bank account and don't know how much is on it, how much is being added, how much is being subtracted, I cannot manage it. In the same way, nations need to understand how much biological capacity is available in the world, how much is available in their own country, and how much is being used by their economy and by their households. If you want to find out your own footprint, please visit us on our website. Uh, Italy is not yet represented, but Switzerland is, which is similar to Italy. And you can do your quiz in Italian. Go to footprintnetwork.org slash calculators, and you will be able to find out how big your footprint is.